What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today I found some wild Armadillidium vulgari. Stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Are you turn when possible? No, we're not. So what had happened was, so this weekend Joe and I were planning to do a camp out in the cabin, but she came down with a severe sinus infection. So I guess we both decided that that night would not be a good night because I'm not quite so sure I want to sleep out there by myself. <laughs> I know it's in my yard. I'm not a chicken, but I don't know. It, I think it's just more fun to have somebody else there. So instead, we went out looking for some magnolia leaves for my isopod cultures. And um, I want to get more, more isopods. And also wanted to collect some more magnolia leaves and some of the pods. But anyway, during our collection, I noticed that there were some, some isopods in there. So I picked up a few. I got like maybe, I think 10, maybe 8 or 10, somewhere in there. I'm not quite sure how many uh oh put the fan on the back but anyway so now what I need to do is go ahead and prepare a bin for them I don't have one prepped up but I wasn't expecting to find any because I hadn't found any in my yard at all so I didn't think this area had any but apparently there was a ton there so I picked up a few of them I'm gonna go ahead and prep up this bin I gotta burn in the holes and the lid the sides Put on the screen and add the substrate so let's get started first i want to start off with my template i got one of these cutting cutting boards from dollar tree and i just cut out a grid with some holes in it and i got little areas set out for the sides and for the lid and what i did was i set it on top of the lid here i already marked it off and now i'm just going to take this wood burning tool and poke my holes in and I have a fan here and I have my window open over here so that I have some fresh air coming in as I melt this plastic and I'm gonna come back to you guys after I'm done my next step is to cut the small screens to cover the holes on the sides and the lid and I like to glue my screens on the inside so I'm going to do that I like to lay down a bead of glue around, around the perimeter screen in and then I wiggle it a little bit to get it in there really well and then I'll lay another bead on top that way it's sealed on both sides with glue that's one side and now I'm going to do the other side and my lid and then last thing is to add the substrate I'm also going to add some magnolia leaves these have been cleaned sterilized and ready for use crumble some up in there also Got them here in this bag with some of the leaves that I found them on. Now the thing that I want to be careful of 
is introducing snails into the enclosure because they were living with a bunch of snails. I've never seen a snail here in North Carolina, but apparently they are here. So I'm going to hand pick these out and I'll be taking the leaf here and adding it to the ones that I did collect and I want to wash, sterilize those too. So I'm going to hand pick the bugs out of here and put them in. And I got different, several different sizes. I got a young, a young one there, and I got some that are just really, really big. Got some that are really tiny, and I'm not sure how many I actually got. That one's really big. I got a few that are that size. Yeah, definitely don't want snail eggs in here. Armadillidium, rolled up in a ball, <laughs> like a little armadillo. There you go, bud. I was surprised to see them. I didn't even know that I would be able to find any of these in a while because I've been unsuccessful at finding any in my yard at all. I don't want to take any other substrate. That new fresh substrate for you guys. Happily going about his way. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on here and leave these guys alone and let them do their thing. So, what I do for these is... So this is going to be my dry side that has the vent holes on both sides. Got a set of holes there, set of holes on both ends, and that is going to be on the same side, the dry side. And there we go. Now I'm going to put these guys up in their area. Awesome, so excited. I can't wait to see how these guys do in that bin. I'm going to be trying out different leaves to see which ones they like the best. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Now I'm going to head outside and clean up and sanitize some magnolia leaves, which is just me sloshing them around in a bucket, cleaning them off as well as I can with dechlorinated water and then I'm gonna bake them in the oven on 200 degrees for 45 minutes to kill off any any hitchhikers any snails that might try and crop up in there I don't want any snails so I'm gonna go do that thank you for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video bye